In the Add Edit Student Subject form we created in the previous tutorial, we are going to improve the user interface by adding combo boxes to the foreign key fields. The first we will change is the country ID. Change to Design View. If the field list is not visible on the far right hand side of the Microsoft Access window, click the Add Existing Fields button on the Form Design toolbar. Select Country ID from this list. Delete the existing Country ID text box from the form. We are about to replace it with a combo box. Make sure the Use Control Wizards button is selected. And then click the Combo Box tool. Click somewhere near where you want the combo box to appear. A wizard now appears to step you through the process. This is the culmination of the process we started when it was decided that country would be stored as an entity object when we were designing the database. We want the combo box to look up values in a table or query, so select the first radio button. The data is stored in the country table, so we select this. Add only the country name to the list of required fields. In this case, we will order the country names alphabetically, but if the space is left blank, no sorting occurs. You should now see an alphabetic list of countries stored in the database. Note the checkbox which hides the key field. Click it once to reveal the ID of the countries, and then make sure it's checked before choosing Next. At this step, store the value in the field country ID. Combo boxes are good for adding data from entity objects but also can be used in queries which we'll find out later and this is one way we can use the data from them in a query. There are others. Give the box a label like country of origin and click finish. To align the combo box with the other fields, press the left or up arrows on the keyboard until it jumps into place, and then you can use the up or down keys to change its order in the form. Change to form view and select the country for a few student records. Using the new combo box that you just put on the data entry form, you should notice how much easier this is for a user to select the student's country. Open the student table and notice that the students you have changed countries for have still got the ID stored and not the name, despite the name showing on the form. And this is the power of combo boxes. They hide the IDs used to link data via the relationships and display the data that is more meaningful for the end user. Repeat this process for the group ID, but this time, don't sort the data. Now close the form and open the subform. Change to Design View. Forms no longer presented in Datasheet view. Change the subject ID and staff ID to combo boxes, sort it alphabetically, and then return to Datasheet view. Make the columns wide enough to accommodate the data being displayed. Save and close the form and then open the original form again. Mm -hmm. 
Notice that the subform is now not big enough to display all the required rows and columns. Change to Design View. Select the subform carefully. The cursor will change to a down arrow when it's ready to be selected and resize the subform area. Return to Form View and it's now completed with a user-friendly interface. Save.